Good morning. It's uh, Monday, April 26th, and this is the Master Pattern Report, uh, Dr. Bob Flower reporting. Well, last week we stated that we saw the S&P recovering uh, some uh, into uh, this week before dropping. It has recovered uh, to that uh, 1208 level and has, has actually penetrated that to some degree. Um, we think we're still going to see a, a, a downturn here right about this point very soon. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Silver has hit a temporary high, uh, and we think we'll uh, we'll weaken uh, its position to somewhere around that 1760 level before it picks up again uh, in May. Uh, we think that this might be a good buying opportunity uh, at this point here. A anything below $18 would seemingly be a, a, a good uh, Good buying point. We, we are bullish on silver going into May. The dollar uh, held its uh, current level, uh, and um, the master pattern showed um, a silver move on the 22nd, and it actually moved uh, uh, one and two thirds percent on the 21st. So um, the master pattern was right on target uh, with that call. Uh, this this week uh, there seems to be some. Um, uh, tops and uh, reversals uh, that have come into uh, into play here. Oil, the dollar, silver, and to some degree the S&P um, seem to be uh, topping at this point, um, perhaps only temporarily, but it, it, they seem to be uh, uh, topping. A date uh, for a, a good uh, uh, silver move, good in silver is, is over a 1% move in a day. Um, one and a half percent. Uh, that day would be uh, Thursday the 29th. Uh, oils will uh, move uh, tomorrow, uh, the 27th. And uh, so far, the bond market uh, is holding up for now. Um, okay, uh, socioeconomic uh, news. Huge changes in the world uh, coming very soon. Uh, a World Economic Council is being, uh, financial council that is, is being pushed by the United States very hard. Folks, we are very close to surrendering our sovereignty, I'm afraid to say. No doubt about it, the financial markets, according to most governments, are saying we need world rules in order to be uh, in proper control. This would be followed by some form of uh, cap and trade almost immediately which would further reduce our sovereignty. But first, our geniuses in Washington are uh, getting ready to, um, to adapt the 20 million illegals, that's adopt the 20 mil million illegals uh, onto the voting block, uh, an old uh, Franklin Roosevelt trick to uh, boost the party power by bringing in the illegals and taking them under their wing. Okay, and on another front, the New York Times says uh, the economy is ready to roar. Yeah, sort of like the way the crowds roared when the Christians were fed to the lions. They stated uh, that uh, real estate is coming back, they say. Uh, so are knickers. Uh, and it will take as long uh, uh, as, uh, as knickers to, to come back. Um, they say that the real estate is up 27% last month, and that was the, uh, the new starts. But that's up 27% after being down 50%. Uh, good move? Uh, well, f for that month, yeah. But, but we think it's because of the, uh, uh, the tax credits uh, expiring for uh, the purchase of uh, real estate. Uh, this is all artificial, folks, reflecting the TARP and the stimulus to some degree. I mean, you could throw that kind of money in the street and we're gonna see a recovery. Um, we are still certain that the fundamentals are still poor and unable to sustain a meaningful upturn. And uh, as you will see very soon with healthcare, for, in for instance, is one, that as the there will be significant costs uh, uh, increasing to the American population. They're going to bank on um, the new people coming into the plan 
uh, paying premiums. <laughs> We're going to talk about that later on. That, that's, that's not going to happen, folks. Not to any meaningful uh, order. Uh, and we'll talk about that uh, at, a, at a later date. Uh, another front, uh, crime and disorder are expanding. Uh, Chicago is so bad, the city is asking the state to uh, send in the National Guard. Uh, in Arizona, uh, the illegal uh, alien issue uh, has a great deal to do with the tremendous uh, uh, rise in home break-ins, theft, and robbery. Uh, I, I've talked to uh, police officers uh, in, in and around the, the Phoenix area, and uh, they will tell you that it's it's completely out, out of control there. It, it really is the Wild West. In the meantime, these know-nothing politicians that are condemning this and going along with the uh, minorities uh, who are proposing this are completely out of order. Uh, political correctness um, concerning profiling is a smokescreen, and it and it's out of hand. That this is this is just something to stir up the pot to uh, disenfranchise uh, the, uh, a a good law and order move. These cops are saying they need help. Their hands are tied. You know the the politicians out there is, are, are looking at it from one point of view, but in fact the the guy in the street, the guy that's that's having to respond to all of these issues, uh, in particular in in, the, in, in Phoenix and, and uh, Tucson and, and the South, are telling telling us that they the people are just getting they're, they're getting manhandled, they're getting roughed up, they're getting beaten up, they're getting kidnapped and and and, and their homes broken into. One particular character was arrested thirteen times for home break-ins. How do you do that? How, how do you let a guy go 13 times? Come on. It's, it's out of hand. It's a bunch of nonsense. Polit you know, political correctness is killing this country. It killed Europe, and, it, and it's killing this country. Okay, let's, let's get past that. You can't develop your potential with political correctness, with feeling uh, sympathy for people because you're hurting their feelings. Get tough. These are tough times. We're getting our brains kicked in here. And we got to stop with these these meaningless rules, these 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 cultural differences that are that are killing us. Okay, let's just look at at, at the beauties of, of of cultural beliefs, not with the the negatives, and political correctness uh, concerning profiling is a, a, a negative. Polarization is everywhere. And it's gaining momentum, and so is avarice and greed. Uh, we we need to we need to have more definite uh, concepts of law and order and of and of, and of rule. We, we we we've lost that. We don't have that anymore. Our leaders are are, are badly forsaken us, uh, and and this is so much so we we, we think. Uh, we think that you will see a, a, a breakout uh, of, of, some, of a war very soon, uh, probably in the Middle East. And uh, what the master pattern is telling us is going to be uh, there's going to be some sort of um, major find in, in one of these Middle Eastern countries. My, my sense is that it's going to be oil or, or perhaps gas or some sort of uh, uh, you know, fossil energy find, um, and perhaps uh, in, in, in Israel. And, and, and once that announcement is made, uh, you, you're going to see, I think, a major, major outbreak. Uh, hang in there, folks. Don't be disillusioned by these people. Uh, and, and don't be misled. And don't let your emotions and your fears and your greed lead you. Be principle-centered and follow that in order to to be on the right, correct path and stay with it. Let's hear from you. Um, we're, we're anxious to, uh, to get something done positively. Thanks a lot. Have a good week.